Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making this stunning Temi Lady of Kwanu or Kwanu Lady dress. I saw it on Instagram a while back and I fell absolutely in love. And you know me, I find it very difficult to spend money on paying tailors, right? So I decided to make it myself and I also decided to film the entire process for you guys. So if you've been interested in seeing how I came up with this stunning design for myself, inspired by Temi Lady of Kwanu or Kwanu Lady, I don't know please be sure to watch this video to the end also feel free to join the family by hitting the subscribe button down below like the video if you enjoyed watching which i'm sure you would and share with anybody that you think will like this type of content all right guys let's get straight into today's video all right friends so for this particular outfit you need two different types of fabric so you need maybe ankara and something else for me i'm using ankara and ashoki but feel free to use ankara and satin ankara and velvet ankara or whatever whatever types of fabric you need you just need two different types of fabric so what i'm doing here is marking my guideline and the length of my guideline is my um how do i put it now how long i want the agbada to fall over my shoulders i'll see if i can link a particular clip of how you want to take that measurement and once that measurement has been drawn for me i'm working with about 23 inches because that's how i want the length of my sleeve to be so from the midpoint of my shoulder up to like my elbow is about 23 inches so what i'm measuring now are my vertical measurements so i'm measuring from my shoulder to my bust point from my bust point to my hip and from my hip down to the length of this dress for this particular outfit because it's a booboo agbada kind of outfit it doesn't have to be fitted right so you want the outfit to be very free so once i was done marking those measurements i marked it again just to allow me have precise lines when drawing those vertical measurements using my ruler so once i was done doing that i went ahead to grab my ruler and i connected those points that i marked together i'm sure you guys are kind of familiar with this process because i do it often whenever i'm you know making dresses on here on my channel feel free to catch up with my other sewing tutorial so you kind of get a hang of this whole process so once i was done doing that joining the two points together now it's time for us to now focus on marking precise measurements so i'm not going to touch down my shoulder point because that is i folded my fabric according to how you know the length of my sleeve because this outfit is connected to your sleeve right you're not sewing your sleeve separately everything is going to fall over your body because it's a booboo kind of outfit that we are making so what i'm marking here is like my bust point measurements and for this part as well i don't want it to be too fitted so i'm going to measure my actual bust point which is 10 inches on fold my round bust is 40 inches divided by four will give me 10 and once that was done i decided to add about four extra inches to give me enough room because i wanted this thing to give me like the real kind of agbada kind of outlook right so after doing that i went to my hip points and at this point as well my round hip is about 42 41 and a half inches so i just measured about 10 and a half inches and i added about four extra inches just to give me that free you know that freedom that i really really need for this outfit and after doing that i added my sewing allowance of about one and a half inches so the total at that point is about 15 and a half inches so for this point of course you know that you are putting your own measurement the measurements that i'm mentioning here are my own measurements so once i was done with doing that i realized that i also wanted to kind of make this agbada kind of have some kind of fit i don't just want it to feel to feel like a bag of rice on me so i decided to mark my waist you know measurements on this outfit and at that waist point i measured my round waist which is about 32 inches divided by four will give me about eight inches and i went ahead to add my four extra inches and then one and a half sewing allowance and that's what i'm marking right there this is just to kind of give me some kind of nice fitting at that point feel free to skip it if you just want the agbada to just fall freely on you okay so once i was doing that i connected my waist points to my hip points and from that my hip points i drew a straight line down i only marked the measurements at my hip points again at the hem to give me a perfect straight line so that's exactly what i'm doing here using my straight ruler to connect down my hip points to the hem of this dress because we know that ankara is usually 45 inches i'm still going to go ahead to add extra fabric at the end of my dress to give me the full length that i'm going for what i'm doing here is just marking my round sleeve okay at this point i made a mistake i should have made that my round sleeve wider so when making your own make sure you you put a measurement that's going to give you 
a lot of freedom on your sleeve point for me i marked about nine inches here because i don't even know what i was thinking but i should have made it about 12 inches wide to give me that free agbada kind of feel but anyway the outfit still turned out really really pretty so what i'm doing here is just marking those points connecting that my points to each other from my shoulder to that armhole point and then connecting my armhole to that my bust measurement and then just joining everything together this part is pretty self-explanatory please pay attention to what i'm doing while replicating yours on your own outfit for this point you could have used you know a curved item but for me i just decided to just use my hand and once i was done doing that it's time for me to mark my neck dimension for my neck i'm working with five inches by seven inches feel free to customize your own if you want your own neck to be wider or if you want your v-neck to be deeper feel free to you know go off but for me i didn't want too much cleavage to be going on in my outfit that was why i decided to do seven inches for the depth of my v-neck and for the width of my um, neck measurement as well i went with five inches because that was like a comfortable point for me and what i'm doing here is just using my ruler to connect the two points that i marked and then i'm measuring one inch downwards under my sleeve that nine inch sleeve point that we measured earlier on you remember yeah so i measured one inch downwards and then i connected it to my shoulder to just give me that nice fitting on my shoulder so you want your outfit to sit on your shoulder looking really nice you don't want it to feel like you know you're about to fly so you need to measure that point to give that your shoulder a relaxed feel at your shoulder point so what i'm doing here is just cutting my outfit okay cutting all the points that i marked to give me the front piece of my agbada bubu my temi lady of kamale agbada bubu so once i was done doing this i went ahead to use my front piece to cut my back piece but when cutting the back piece please make sure you mark your neck for your back okay don't cut the same neck that you use for the front for the back so that part is very very important to remember because a lot of times i've also been a victim of forgetting and then i'll just you know make the mistake and cut my front neck for my back neck so at this point the very first thing you want to do after placing the front on the back is measure out the neck dimension that you want to use for your back and then cut out that neck very like that should be the first thing and then you now cut out the remaining part that helps you remember not to make a mistake and cut the neck that you use the neck dimension that you use for the front on the back as well so that's exactly what i'm doing here i'm placing my front piece on my back piece and once i was done placing it i went ahead to pin that point together to make sure that my fabric is not moving around and once i was done doing that as well i went ahead to measure my neck with for my neck i'm working with a depth of about one and a half inches and the width of my neck is also five inches okay you want the same neck width but the depth is what you want to you know make the change in so for me my neck depth is about one and a half inches and that's what i'm doing here cutting up that one and a half inches by by um five inch neck width and then once i was done doing that i went ahead to cut the exact same points on on each other <laughs> i don't know how to explain it i hope you guys understand what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing so once i was done cutting and all of that it was time for me to move on to the next stage in this tutorial which is basically me cutting my asho okay the piece that is going to sit on top of the front you know piece of um fabric to cut my ashoki basically so what that entails will be me um first of all determining the length of the ashoki that i'm placing on top of my ankara i decided to go with about 27 inches so from my shoulder up until about my hip points that was where this ashoki basically covered feel free to make your shorter or longer just freestyle with your style but yeah for me i'm working with from my shoulder to about my hip point so first of all to give get the dimension required dimension right i had to first of all join these two pieces of ashoki together and that's exactly what i'm going to do now just take it to my sewing machine i've shown you guys a couple of times how to join ashoki together so after doing that i just placed my front fabric on top of this ashoki to just cut out the exact same neck dimension okay because this ashoki is sitting on the front right so you want the neck dimension to be the same to give you that perfect fit at the neck point so that's exactly what i'm doing here i'm pinning it together to make sure that it doesn't move around while cutting so once i was done pinning and all of that i just flipped the um fabric over and then i cut out the neck point the only part of this fabric they are cutting is the neck okay so that the neck points will match each other when you go ahead to sew them together so once i was done cutting that point it was time for me to basically open it up and then place them on top of each other and pin okay pinning is your best friend when sewing a v-neck outfit because v-necks especially for beginners can be so tricky but once you can pin it together and sew carefully your v-neck is going to come out looking absolutely 
beautiful so what i'm doing here is just pinning that my v-neck points together and once i was done it was time for me to take it to my sewing machine and then sew when sewing you sew all the way down and when you get to that v point you stop there raise your um, presser foot and then flip your fabric and then turn around i don't know how to explain it if you guys want me to show how to sew a perfect v-neck let me know down in the comment section i'll just film a quick tutorial on how to go about it but yeah when sewing v-neck be very careful so as slowly or whatever just be careful okay to, to not mess up your v-neck so when cutting or notching now you make sure that when you get to that v-neck point as well you notch really really deeply don't cut through your stitch but notch very deeply and then once that is done it'll be time for you to flip your fabric over to see what your v-neck looks like after flipping my fabric over i was satisfied with how my v-neck looked and uh, so it was time for me to iron basically and while ironing i placed um hemming glue underneath that my stitch right to just allow that neck point sit very very flat and look very very neat so i'm going to take this fabric now to my ironing board and then press on some um what do they call this thing now <laughs> hemming glue yeah hemming glue so once i was done this is what my neck looks like and it looks absolutely pretty right this is what my v-neck looks like it looks very sharp and just beautiful so now it's been time for us to move on to the next stage in this particular tutorial and that will be me basically just finishing up this ashoki that i joined i just went ahead to just do some kind of slanting thingy on the ashoki i cut it into a slant at the edge and then i went ahead to sew the the ashoki onto my Ankara just to make sure that they all become one single piece of fabric for that part as well it's pretty self-explanatory okay what i'm just showing you guys here is that you have to fold the edge of your ashoki right tuck it in and then run your sewing machine on it i'm going to show you clips of how i went about sewing this um ashoki onto the Ankara fabric and yeah this is just me doing the absolute most right just showing you guys how you want to sew it and then once i was done doing that i went straight on to my sewing machine with this sewing nothing much just make sure that you're sewing on a straight line as much as possible so your sewing does not look crooked and of course your thread should be matching the ashoki or whatever piece of fabric that you're combining your ankara with so this is me just um um adding extra fabric right to the hem of my Ankara because Ankara is 45 inches long and I wanted my dress to to be about 60 inches long so I went ahead to add extra fabric just joined it at the hem to make everything look longer typically you know that when you're working with Ankara if you want to sew a long dress with Ankara chances are you would have to join fabric and this is me showing you guys how to join it you just pin um, extra fabric to the hem of your dress and then so it's basically very very easy it's pretty um self-explanatory but yeah this is me just illustrating how you should go about it just in case you don't know how to do that i am repeating it for the back outfits right so the the back piece of this your agbada as well you join um fabric to it to make it long enough for your dress length and if you want your dress to be three quarter um kind of dress that's fine as well you don't have to add anything but if you want a long dress chances are you would need to add um extra fabric and this is me just joining my front to my back so for joining the fabric together you can decide to do the you know traditional um right side facing each other and then sewing but for me i wanted to do a kind of um french seam that's what they call this type of sewing where you hide the seam of your outfit especially for fabrics where or for outfits where you don't use lining or anything like that a french seam is usually perfect so you first of all place wrong side on each other and then sew your outfit all the way through or maybe half of an inch and then once you are done sewing wrong side facing each other you now flip your fabric to the right side facing each other right flip it inside out and then run about one inch seam on that point to give you the french seam that we are talking about this is just to hide these stitches inside your fabric and make everything look really really neat this type of sewing is always perfect for these types of outfits it makes your work look very very neat so once i was done i just went ahead to tidy up the sleeve tidy up the hem of my dress and voila guys that was it for making this particular outfit it's really really easy to make the only reason why it took me time basically it was because i was filming and i had to show you guys some of the things that i was doing but if you're not filming trust me this kind of outfits will take you what less than an hour to make very very fast and easy and you can start a ready to wear brand right making these types of agbada outfits for your clients anyway this is me just showing off what the finished look of this dress looks like next up i'm going to go ahead to wear it on myself so you guys get to see what it looks like on me i already filmed a video wearing this outfit but yeah it took me a while to edit this video and this is what the finished look looks like it looks absolutely stunning right i know i look 
absolutely beautiful and i feel like i'm going to make this dress in so many different variants right combining different fabrics because it's so convenient i went to church wearing this outfit and that day in church i was feeling myself because i looked absolutely pretty and i was very comfortable like it's so is, is extremely comfortable anyway thank you guys for watching up until this point if you made it to this point in the video thank you so much if you enjoyed watching please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up also subscribe if you're yet to i make tutorials like this from time to time weekly actually and yeah guys share with your friends and yeah i can't wait to see you in my next tutorial bye guys Mwah.